Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I wanted to film this in my kitchen because it's like early morning and this is the only time I'm going to be able to film this video and I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because I am super excited to talk about the Mom Cozy um, wearable pump. And I just... I, I, I guess I guess we're just gonna dive into it because I love this pump. It's a great little pump, but before I like get into my personal stuff with it, I am actually using it right now just on this one side. I wanted to kind of show you guys how much it does stick out. If you had two in, it like you would look kind of chesty, but otherwise like I don't really care. I think it's way less revealing than when you have like the actual flanges and everything. It's like not too bad, you know. As for noise level, I honestly don't think it's too bad. You'll probably be able to hear it throughout this video, but I don't think it's that bad. If you're sitting in a completely silent room, you are going to be able to hear it, but I think the benefits of being completely hands-free is totally worth it. Um, before I get into my stuff, this is the box that it comes in. Um, mine's a little bit destroyed because it kind of, I don't know, I think it just got destroyed in the mail. Um, but it does come with some extra accessories, so we'll go over that. So you do get a duckbill flange and um, you do get the bra extenders, which is really nice that they give you that. Um, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys and if you stay to the end of this video, I do have a coupon code that you guys can use to get your own mom cozy pump. So yay, that's exciting. Um, it also comes with the manual here, which is really well put together, I think. Like, it's pretty straightforward. It shows you how to put stuff together and how to clean everything. Um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, and then the pump just like sits in there. Now for the actual pump, um, this is what it looks like. I'll give you guys another kind of look. This is it all set up and I will take it apart as well. And so that you guys can see everything. These are what the buttons look like. So this is the on button here. Um, this is your stimulation mode. It's a little heartbeat. It does have a long pull. So it'll go really, really quick and then it'll pull, but it's not really, really painful. Um, this is like your uh, regular expression mode um, once you have a letdown, and this is um, decrease suction and increase suction. And these little holes here just let you know that it's on, so it's on, doesn't need to be charged, and if you increase the suction, it increases the um, little lights there. So, so it's pretty like easy to use, which I really like. It only goes up to uh, five like suction, but honestly, I don't go past a one or a two. It has pretty decently strong suction. I would say if you've used the Spectra pump, it's a lot stronger than that pump, um, but it's still gentle. It's not, uh, it's not a pull, it's more of a vibration, which um, I really like. So in order to kind of take apart the pump, you pull, the actual pump apart and this is what the bottom of it looks like um, so this part should never be wet it did say that if this does get wet to just wipe it down it so you know this is like the actual pump which is super cool and then these are the rest of the parts the awesome thing is is this is a closed system pump so um, no milk will get into your pump um, Part, which is really cool. So this is what it looks like. This is the 24 millimeter flange. I think that's the only one that it comes with online, but you can buy inserts. This is the 19 millimeter insert and they do have a 17 millimeter insert and you can buy these on their website. I'll have everything linked down below. I feel like I was getting a little dark, so I just moved it. So this piece does come off and you know it's really easy to clean some of these do look a little different like this one has like a frosted um middle here but i've also i have three of these pumps now <laughs> um and some of them don't have this frosted piece 
uh, but it, you know, it's just to kind of like make it look interesting. So this is, um, you know, the collection cup, so to speak. And so here's like the closed system portion. You have the membrane up here, which just sits on there. And then here's your duck bill. So uh, honestly, like there really isn't that much to clean. Like this is pretty easy to clean and this is easy to clean and you just, you know, put it back on like that. The um, duckbill always needs to be um, like this. It can't be like this. It needs to be like this. I'll show you. Um, in order for the whole system to work. So then to put it together, you would just um, pop this in here. Hopefully you guys can see. There's kind of like two little um, things here in the back to like line up actually this is better these to line up that little contraption in there and then you really want to like push it up and make sure it's nice and snug and then this part would just go right in here and you want to make sure that these holes at the top are lined up because that's where you pour the milk out of and then you just make sure it has that nice tight seal around the edge and then you just put the pump back on the top and you really want to like make sure that that's on there nice and tight so that there isn't uh, any gaps and it has like really nice suction so that's what it looks like more about the pump uh, it does shut off after 30 minutes which is nice so you're not gonna you know have your nipples ripped off if you fall asleep or something with this on the way that it kind of sits is like so when you're done with it uh, you want to place it like this. It will spill at the top here if you like bend too far forward or you know if you just like have it like this it, it will come out there. I have noticed sometimes the milk will come out of here if it's really really full so your best bet is when you take it out to just like keep it like this. So you know that's just something to note. Uh, when you have one of these inserts in like this uh, sometimes milk will get in between the insert and this bigger flange um, so you will sometimes have a little bit of drippage there and that's just something to kind of keep in mind on the side here I don't know if it'll pick it up but you can see there is um, like ounces levels I don't think those are very accurate but it's nice to see that they're, they're there it is hard to uh, to tell like what what you have when there is milk in there and I'll take mine off in a minute here and show you guys what it looks like and stuff with the milk in there this pump retails for about 60 65 dollars on Amazon and I think it's the same on their website as well which is a great price point uh, that was one of the big selling points for me is I really wanted them to try the willow pump But I really don't want to spend $500. I feel like that's a ridiculous amount of money And the fact that this company came out with a pump that's like a million times cheaper I think is awesome. You guys did ask me a couple questions on Instagram about the pump And I am gonna get into those in a minute. They do have a couple versions of this pump on their website This is the s9. This here is the charging port uh, in the back and it just clips right in it. I feel like it charges super quick. How how often do you have to charge it? Um, I say I probably get um, about like two three hours with the pump fully charged. Uh, I haven't noticed that I haven't noticed that the battery is crappy if that if that helps. Um, I, I don't do like the full 30 minutes on each side just because I'm not exclusively pumping, but I do get about a two to three hour um, window for it. And it is nice uh, to be able to just have this little charging port. And I don't have one of the cords, but it is a USB cord. They don't give you a little wall adapter, but it can fit into like any USB wall adapter, which is really cool. Um, it's really light. It's not that heavy. Uh, sometimes this does, um, you know, like fall off but that's why I really said you want to like really squish it in there I don't really think it's that big of like a deal I have seen a lot of people say that you want to angle this part kind of like this instead of putting it fully upright it's a little bit easier 
um, to take it out so that the milk doesn't spill. I've also noticed it is a little bit hard to kind of center your nipple in there because this is right at the top. So if you do kind of do it like this, you can see it a little bit better. Uh, so it's a little easier to center, center your nipple in there. Honestly, like once you get the hang, you know, once you kind of figure out where exactly it should go, uh, it, the, the fact that it's, the fact that it's so hands-free and so little and the price point is so good, I feel like that just outweighs it. So let's see uh, what this pump is doing here and I'll show you guys kind of how I uh, do that. All right, so first off, I just wanted to show you guys like some of the milk that is kind of at the edge there that could possibly drip down. And that is mainly because I have the insert in there. So I just kind of like dab it, but you can see there is some milk that's kind of in there. I did nurse before pumping, so I'm not gonna have like that much milk, but right now I don't even think, I think it just says like one ounce, but we'll have to see what it says in the, in like a Medela bottle. But this is um, what it looks like, uh, you know, when you take, take it off. I try not to, you know, keep it, um, I, you really don't wanna tip it this way. It's totally okay to tip it this way it's fine to kind of have it like here on the, whoops, here on the side. I still get a little nervous, but um, you mainly just want to tip it like this. And you take this off. You always want to take the actual pump off um, before you pour the milk into a bottle. So let me just go get a bottle. Okay, so I just got like a regular Medela bottle and it does have, you can see there is like a little kind of pour there, but you do want to be careful. It can kind of splash a little. Um, so you just want to make sure that you get, yeah, so there's about like an ounce in there and that was just from both sides. So as you can see, I did want to show you guys, there is like a good amount of like drops of milk in there. Um, and it, that is kind of hard to get out like just from this little spout. So what I do is I take it apart just sitting like this and there is like usually some kind of in like in the little duck bill there. So I'll just like squeeze it out. And then there's like a little bit kind of left there. So then I'll just pour it in here. So it does, it does have like some milk that's kind of, you know, left over, but you know, it's just an extra step. If that's something that you're not really gonna like, then maybe you won't like this pump, but I don't really mind. So now I wanna get you guys, uh, your like responses that you guys had on Instagram about the pump. And then I will do probably like my final thoughts and I will give you guys the coupon code so you can get your own Mom Cozy pump. I'm super excited that they um, reached out to me and wanted me to become an affiliate. Um, I really like this pump as you guys can probably already tell. Okay, so um, how much can you actually move around with it? So I feel like you can totally move around fine. I just think you can't like bend completely forward, but I can like squat and pick things up or you can kind of like bend forward a little bit, but you just wanna like be aware that it could kind of spill out if it's really full it'll spill out a little, but I've never noticed like walking around it spilling or anything. Um, is it comfortable? I feel like it's comfortable. The suction is comfortable. It, like I said, it is a vibration type suction. I do feel that the suction is decent and it is high. Um, I only go to like one, two suction range and it goes up to five. So I feel like it does have really good suction. And another question, how is the battery life? I think the battery life is good. I do think if you're exclusively pumping, you probably will have to charge it fairly often. But then again, if you have a couple of these, uh, you won't have to charge them as often. Uh, and in, it'll indicate here on this little dot, it'll turn red when it's ready to charge. Uh, and I don't feel like it takes that long to charge, which is nice too but I feel like the battery life is adequate. Somebody was asking if I can compare it to the Max Flow Medela pump, and I actually haven't used that pump yet, so, but I do have that pump and it is in the works. Um, 
is the thing on the top heavy? Does it weigh the set down? I don't feel like this is heavy. I feel like th there is some weight to it, but I don't feel like it's heavy and it doesn't weigh it down like when it's in your bra. You do have to like wear a bra in order to wear this. Okay. But I don't feel that it's heavy. Um, how does it compare to the willow? Is it bulky? Is it bulky? Can you bend over without spilling? So I haven't tried the willow yet, but I have tried the LV. I feel like it's better than the LV. I really did not like the LV. I, I lost my train of thought. Uh, I didn't like the LV because the suction was so weird. It would like suck and then stop and then I don't, I don't know. You could, and I also had way more leaking with my LV. Uh, I don't know why, like, it, I just did. I replaced all the parts, and I don't know. I had more more leaking with the LV than I did with um, this, with the Mom Cozy Pump. Um, can you bend over? You can't, like, bend completely over. You will spill something out of it. But you can, like, bend a little bit forward, just as long as you're, like, conscious that, you know, it could spill out if you hold it. How long does the battery last? Um... We already went over that, but is it easy to clean? I feel like these parts are easy to clean. Uh, you do have a couple of parts, but I, I feel like they are fairly easy to clean. And then a lot of people asked about the suction, and I've mentioned that before, but the suction is more like the Baby Buddha pump, so it's like a strong vibration. It's not the pull like the Medela pumps have. Uh, I feel like the suction is really, really good for such a small pump. And I was really surprised at how strong the suction was. I don't feel like it's really painful. As long as you have the correct flange size, it shouldn't be painful. And they do supply inserts on their website. Amazon does also have them as well. And I just ordered another 17 millimeter uh, because they were all out because everybody really wants this pump. Uh, my little one just woke up. So let me just go get him. I will be right back. Let's nurse up. Here we are. Here we are. Hmm? Oh. You hungry? Okay, so I just zoomed you guys in a little bit, but Waylon's here uh, nursing. He just woke up from his little nap, but he can help me with the final review. So um, this pump does come in a couple different colors. I think you can get it in pink, gray, and like a green or a teal. I have the gray, and I also have a pink one as well. Um, they both work completely the same and like I said they do have a couple different versions of this pump I've only tried the s9 and I really like it I do want to try the other versions as well and See what I think about those but honestly, I feel like I'm gonna like them because I do really really like this pump So the, the, I guess that's my final thoughts. I love this pump. I think it's great I've really only been using this pump. I put away my spectra because it's so much easier to just knit, like stick this pump in on the opposite side that he's nursing on and just catch what? and it just catch more of my letdown. It's just quick and it's super easy to use in the car. I don't have to like have all these wires or cords and stuff. The only thing in the car is that you do want to bring an extra bottle like this because it it doesn't really sit nicely in a cup holder and I completely forgot that the first time I brought it in the car and the milk kind of went everywhere. I love this pump. I would I would highly recommend it to anybody who's pumping even if you're pumping once a day, if you're exclusively pumping, I would use this pump if I was exclusively pumping. I'd probably use other pumps as well too uh, just because I when I exclusively pumped I always kind of like switched out my pumps because my body just responded better that way mm -hmm. So I bet you guys are all waiting For the coupon code Get 10% off your first mom cozy pump. I think you can also use this on Anything in their website as well, but um, let's be real. You're gonna want to use it on the pump <laughs> So I will put the coupon code here. It does give you 10% off on anything on their website, but please pick up the Mom Cozy Pump because it is an awesome pump. I love it. I can't wait to try the other ones that they have on their website as well. And I do make a small commission off of this coupon code. So thank you to anybody who does use it. You don't have to use it. Um, it's just you know there for you guys uh, to save some money. It's completely free to use, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's 
a little review on this pump. I haven't done a review on a pump. Oh dear, he just pooped. I haven't done a review on a pump in forever, so it's nice to kind of jump back into it and give you guys my advice. Um, so what pump do you guys want me to review next? I do have a couple of them that I need to start trying out, but honestly this pump is so good that I haven't, like, I haven't tried out any of the other ones I have, so I need to do that. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next.